from time to time, when I'm using my knives, come across a result which doesn't make any sense. Which is a rather interesting thing to happen because basically it shows that there's something going on that you don't understand. And that's a positive thing because it shows that um, there's something there that you can learn from or benefit from if you study it a little bit. So what I'm going to do is each time I find one of these little things is put up one of these challenge videos where I'll note what the problem is. You can participate by seeing if you can figure it out. And then once someone does guess the correct solution, I'll put up in detail how I did figure out that's what was going on and how I checked it. So the first challenge video is relatively simple. This is a knife from Phil Wilson and CPM 10V 62.5 Rockwell. Phil uses rather high temperature soaks. This one had a forced air quench, extended quench, and liquid nitrogen, and relatively low temper, I believe, or this might have been the time he was using high tempers and 10V, not 100% sure. But in any case, the grindability is very low. The wear resistance is very high. So I've been doing some edge retention runs on cardboard. The results are down in the description. And I notice something relatively interesting when I go to resharpen it. So the basic procedure, which I have outlined before, is basically take the knife, slice it directly across the stone to de-stress the edge. That does two things. Number one, it grinds away all the weakened, the bent, the chipped metal. And the other thing, it keeps the edge relatively flat or with the existing curvature. It stops any hollow points or recurves from setting into the edge. The interesting thing is this. This is a very cheap stone. It's a very non-abrasive or slow cutting stone. And the reason is that it has a very high binder content. It doesn't release fresh abrasives very well. It's relatively coarse, but again, very slow cutting. This is a King water stone, which cuts much faster. A very nice binder, which continuously releases fresh abrasives. Here's the curious part. This stone, will reset the edge with around 25 passes per side, very small movements, just working on the ends of the stone. This stone takes about 150 passes per side to reset the edge. So again, 25 passes per side with the cheap stone, 125 passes per side with a decent king water stone. And again, this stone in general has a much faster or higher cutting action than this stone. So the question is, how come this stone resets the edge bevel on Phil's knife much faster? That's the challenge. Now, feel free in the comments to ask questions about the knife that I haven't specifically talked about here. There are certain questions which, if you ask, will make it a lot more obvious what the problem might be and what the solution is.